the Custard TV podcast, the one place on the web where at least two of the podcast members will appear on a semi-regular basis from now on. The two in question this week are me, surprise, surprise, uh, Luke, hello, editor and runner of the website, and uh, Matt, less of a surprise in the northern area. Yeah, because we should say Gary's recuperating still. He's just yeah. come out of hospital again. So send him your best wishes. Yeah. So if you've never heard the podcast before, it sounds like this, but with extra London and Gary normally. Uh, we do TV news, reviews and previews and look forward to... No Gary goes charity. west this week. No Gary goes west. No Luke goes west. Matt's not going anywhere. It's weird though. <laughs> Matt's not going this... anywhere. I'm not going to the Far East. Ever... <laughs> I'm going to have you watch a load of Chinese shows and just report back. Although, I don't think it's a good week to go west, really, is it? I think we're Not safer really, here. No. Um, Probably safer to do it here. Did you watch any of the election coverage or anything? Did you stay up for that? I, well, it was, I didn't stay up for it, but I woke up to it on Tuesday Wednesday. morning. Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning. And it was like, oh god, that was. It was like some awful. It was like Brexit, wasn't it? When you were. It, was, it is exactly like it. Yes, exactly like. It's was, just their version. You were in the states when Obama got in, weren't you? Or were you? Yes, I was. Yeah. Well, what was uh, the? What times. was it like then? What was the first I time? Mean, I mean, it, it, it was not. I mean, it was not. I don't remember there being like big parades or big happiness about it, but um, there wasn't the vitriol. Yeah. Came with this campaign, and I, you know, so I would have liked Gary to go west just to see if it was safe for us to accompany him. Yeah, really, yeah, but yeah. I don't... Me, me, and him could be the new host of the last leg. I'd be Josh Widdicombe, obviously. Um, He'd be Adam Hills. He'd be Adam Hills. You'd be Alex Brooker. Easy, let's do it. If Channel <laughs> Four need us, we're here. <laughs> Luke. Hey, everybody! Here's our star and Matt. He's a professional talking telly. Try it, just for one week. Just try the program for one week. This is the Custard TV Podcast. ITV have uh, just axed a couple of their dramas, mm. DCI Banks and and uh, Brief Encounters, both gone uh, from ITV. Are you now. I do sad like... about DCI Banks? No, no, ne- neither one really. I mean, uh, none Banks of us really watched generic. Brief Encounters, did we? So we haven't really got an opinion. No. But yeah, so uh, Brief Encounters, DCI Banks, both gone. This is Polly Hill, former head of drama at the BBC, sort of mm. looking at their, their schedules and going, no, this... i tell you what I'd be really Him Series about. 2, him Series Ooh, 2, come on. <laughs> rubbing my hands together. I would love them. I don't think they will because of its popularity across the world, but I don't think Midsummer surely has had its time now. You think Polly Hill would say no more Midsummer? I mean, the only things they've recommissioned are Cold Feet and Victoria what, uh, since what, you've been what, at the helm. What um, other long running ones have, have uh, ITV got? Because as you say, Midsummer they've got in, but... they've got Endeavour, mm. but that's only on its fourth yeah. series, I suppose. Uh, is, there, is there nothing else like um, uh, have they got their own sort of Silent Witness type thing? Or... No, I suppose the closest to that would be. You know, DCI Banks or Scott and Bailey, are both of them yeah. have gone now. Vera, could that be axed? Oh, please. <laughs> That's the... the Dear yeah, Polly I'm Hill, pr- please ax Vera. <laughs> I'm going I'm I'm to pray to the ghost. You've probably seen this, but the, the folks... Um, I know you were a fan of this show the first time around, the uh, Real Marigold Hotel. Yeah. Tell, tell me how excited you are about this uh, octet of, of famous faces. Lionel Blair... No, yeah. okay. Amanda Barry, former Corrie star. And yeah, do you remember, do you remember she was on Hell's Kitchen, Hell's Kitchen and went nuts? Yeah. yeah. Let's hope she does that again. <laughs> Snooker champion Dennis Taylor. I will See, raise you a who for that. I don't yeah. know who that is. Where have you gone? Oh, sorry. I forgot <laughs> to sit in front of the microphone, which is day one. <laughs> day one of podcast school. Uh, t- TV personality Rusty Lee. Or, uh, as I remember, uh, Gussie's aunt, aunt from oh, EastEnders. Yeah, me too. Uh, Dr. Miriam Stoppard. They've lost me there. And um, another EastEnders name, uh, the reanimated corpse of Paul Nicholas. 
<laughs> okay, so that's moving to BBC One. Quite why they do that, I don't know. Surely, if it's a hit, people will watch it everywhere. Why does it have to go onto another channel? I don't quite. Maybe they get but... more money if it's on BBC One. I always feel like BBC One picks on BBC Two. Mm. I always feel like they're the big brother going, "Oh, I want that now," and they just take it. Mm. Like they did with QI. Then they went, oh, you can have QI back now. We don't like it first now. series so was a big hit that, connect, that connected with viewers of all ages in a really authentic and heartwarming way. It was entertaining whilst brilliant and enlightening, which makes it per- the perfect fit for BBC One. I tell you what, Matt, you sound like you're reading Rupert's the Loose. No. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound like a genuine comment from you at all. Okay, no, so that it, is it was. the news. It definitely also, was. Also, uh, just literally just come in uh, via the social media sphere. Uh, you may know uh, Robert Vaughan from The Man From Uncle and eight series of Hustle. He died today at 83. Aww. I loved I loved Hustle. I don't remember whether you even Not saw really. any of it. I saw bits of it. I was, I was an Adrian, <laughs> Adrian Lester fan. Um, what a lovely tribute that is. <laughs> but I... <laughs> I, I actually remember him best from uh, Basketball, the Trey Parker and Matt Stone film. I don't know if you've seen that. Again, what a lovely tribute. What a lovely tribute um, to the man. And he was as well, yeah. fact fan, the last uh, remaining member of the Magnificent Seven. Are they all gone now? Yeah. That was the answer Christ. to a trivia question for years while he was How alive. many Three Musketeers are there now? Depends which, which one you're thinking of. If you're thinking of the, the BBC one, then... <laughs> Quite a few. Well, they, they were the Musker Hounds, the cartoon. Oh, yeah, true. true. <laughs> Again, best podcast we've ever done. <laughs> okay, some um, some reviews. Now, this is odd because usually Gary's seen what I haven't seen or Matt's seen what Gary hasn't seen or whatever. So we're just going to go, have you seen and talk about it? So I'm not fully caught up on the missing, although... Oh. Ooh, the Twitter ah, sphere, yeah. was, the Twitter Ooh. sphere was going mad, so I had to read the synopsis of it. It's got to be the best show on television mm. at the moment. So you do know what happened in it, yeah, yeah. Because I was thinking, why Derek Riddle, who is a sort of well-known actor, was in such a small role? But I think and, our uh, mate uh, Andre's gone now. Ah, oh, see, mind you, he got sweaty. I didn't like him when he. Unless was he comes in, back, in the... he turns up at uh, Julian's bedside at the end when he he probably inevitably has his operation for his tumor. Maybe it's revealed. Interesting. That, maybe it's revealed that Ju- only Julian could see him. Maybe it was a tumor fantasy. <laughs> I'll just let that sink in for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> You That's never know. You, sorry, but you never know with the missing. You've watched till the end of four, where they revealed that the whoever that girl is is still alive and in the Swiss Alps. Well, the biggest surprise of episode four wasn't finding out that Alice was, or not Alice, or whoever that girl is, Alice was still alive. Sophie. It's just thinking, who the hell gave her that haircut? Mm. That was horrendous haircut. We got to talk about that briefly. I mean, she looked ridiculous. I mean, the other big. Revelation was that you thought Laura Fraser had lost her baby because um, the, the sun knocked her down, didn't he? And she started bleeding and stuff. Yeah. But the revelation this episode was that she was actually acting as a surrogate for her sister. So, <sighs> oh yeah, because I remember now Roger Alam saying your sister will kill me if if I don't get you home in the yeah. first episode. Yeah, and I that's just a line that. I just forgot. Mm. But you saying that now? Yeah, because you all thought, oh, that. she's lost the baby and what's going on and stuff and you saw but that was a little sort of swerve that actually the baby was she was a surrogate for her sister do you think with this coming back line of duty coming back happy valley coming back do you think that the second series effect isn't really true it's just what effort they've put Mm. in to a second series because not to harp on about broad shows, but that came back for the sake of it. There was no storyline in, in that at all. I what? know Sonny Wainwright and the, and the Williams brothers had two years. No, actually, Chris Chibnall had two years as well, didn't I he? think with what it is, uh, uh, I think that in terms of line of duty, that's a police procedural, so that's fair enough. That would have come back anyway, I think. That, that wasn't a self-contained story, really. In terms of Happy mm. Valley, I suppose it was more of a... Um, 
thing can we continue can we do something else with um what's the, i've forgotten her name now catherine Haywood. Haywood. catherine and her story and her and the police and they sort of managed to li- i mean sally's the best at it, i think you know she managed to link it in i think it's all about how you deal with the characters and have you got a decent enough second story you know what broadchurch did was that they just focused on the last story and brought in something that they talked about in series one rather and also, than so it it, sh- it showed me with with broadchurch two that the characters weren't that strong in broadchurch one it was just the story that was strong yeah because so when you take that yeah. when Go you on. take that story away and you've just got the characters that aren't that strong at least with happy valley siobhan finner and sarah lancashire James Norton, they're all playing quite real humanistic characters what, who we what knew I quite would, well. Yeah. From what Happy I would Valley say one. is that Broadchurch, literally, the, the main appeal of that was who's the killer, who's the killer? Whereas Happy Valley, we knew from the start who the kidnapper was, who the bad guys were, and like it, it had all pretty much resolved itself in Act 4. You know, they got, they got the uh, girl back. And they um, they were still looking for the Tommy, but you know it was about the characters rather than the mystery. And I think in terms of the missing, bringing that back was they they've almost got an entirely new cast of characters, haven't they? So it it feels new. And as I was saying to Gary when we were last talking about it, it's it's not the same as the last series. It's not another who done no, it. We found so out who done it. Plotted. It's so it's it's not plotted. about that. There's so many little strands. There's you know, now as well, something that happened in Act 5 is that Laura Fraser is now pregnant with Davy Morris's child. Just stop now. Stop getting what? pregnant, Laura Fraser. Laura Fraser, she's like, so fertile. She's the most fertile woman on television, I think. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the, that's The Missing. It, if you haven't seen it by by some weird quirk of the world, then you need to see it. because And people who, who say that it's confusing, shut up, just watch it, enjoy it. Shut and, up. Don't just shut up. Just stop now. Behave. But that last uh, that of... last scene was just like Terry. Basically, it comes to that poor old um, German copper who 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 plays the guitar came afoul mm. of Derek Riddle's character. Who when he, when the daughter appeared, who we assume is his daughter with the girl uh, Alice, Sophie, whoever whatever her name is. Um, yeah. I. And she said, "This is a picture of me and Mummy in the basement, as you did, as you say." Yeah, and, just just normal. And like room. Got, so then he got choked out, and then got a drill to the skull. So there's something for you to look forward to, Luke. But it just feels like they've really thought, "What can we do? What is a new, inventive way of telling?" And you didn't the story see anything. Missing person. You didn't see anything in the drilling scene. Oh, that's oh, disappointing. And, all, and also, ball. there was a uh, transsexual in this episode as well. A transsexual drill machine? No. <laughs> that sounds like a Pet Shop Boys song. <laughs> or an album. <laughs> yeah. Speaking Tra- of second series syndrome, Humans is back. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's just discuss have you that watched, briefly. Have you watched the no, first I two? I wasn't, you know, I, I watched it on a preview site. I didn't watch it on TV. So I watched it. Uh, a bit before and I kind of drifted away I wasn't really invested as much as I wanted to be with humans I, I think um, everything started kicked in in Ep 2 because Ep 2 I think was a lot better I don't know I just think I, it didn't gel with me I for think some reason you're, I, it's, it's not your genre really is it Luke and I think it was an almost no, but I really like enjoyed an, it last the year last se- the last series was almost like an anomaly for you wasn't it I mean in this one you sort of got where the plots are going a bit more. Um, that uh, oh, what's I can't remember any character names. This is because Gary's like, <laughs> Laura, isn't it? Catherine Parkinson. Like, so character. we got we got Laura. That, we got Laura, Nesca. Yeah. We got Laura is now um, representing Nesca on trial because obviously she killed someone last series, didn't she? And she's trying to prove well, that Nesca, Nesca's got consciousness. Consciousness. And so they're having this big trial, like. Can you prove she's conscious? If not, we're going to shut her down. Didn't they bring back Odie as well? Yes, Odie, Odie got brought back. Um, the daughter... Um, what's her name? Maddie, is it? Matty. Matty, the daughter. Matty, because they yeah. can't say Matilda for some yeah. reason. Ma- Matty uh, went to a scrapyard and found him. 
and is now trying to sort of reprogram in an attempt to sort of try and find uh, Leo and well, those. At, at my tip, you can't even get rid of a fridge, so I'm not surprised <laughs> that.